If you have a phone, cap cut, and the desire to sound scary, then you're in the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you how to sound just as you are on the outside. I don't have a good intro, yeah. So before we begin, I just want to clarify, yes, this is the updated tutorial. You're in the right place. For those of you who aren't aware, this isn't the first time I've done a demon voice tutorial in CapCut. The first time I did this, a lot of people found it very useful. Thank you again for all the nice comments I got. If you haven't watched it, don't watch it because about halfway through it freezes. The irony in that is that I was using CapCut to edit that whole video, so I'm not sure what that says about CapCut or the fact that I'm editing again using CapCut. But I'm not playing around. You're here to make your voice sound demonic, so we're gonna get straight into it. Wait, no, 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 I said straight! So first thing you wanna do is upload your video to CapCut. If you have multiple clips that you wanna edit, do not do them all at once. I would focus just on the clip that contains the portion of the audio that you wanna apply the demon voice effect to. CapCut does not take kindly to a lot of videos at once. Now, someone whose last video froze on them, trust me on this one. So once you've finally identified what portion of the clip that you want the demon voice effect to be applied to, drag the cursor bar all the way just before the point where you wanna add the demon voice effect and split it. If it's not at the very end of your video, like mine, make sure you split it beginning and end. So you have one section of the clip that you're going to extract the audio from. Which brings me to my next step, extract the audio. Little button right there, as you can see from the phone demo. So just click that button and then you should have an audio WAV file right below it. Make sure to play it back that the WAV file is exactly the portion that you want. Now, once you're ready to move on, tap the extracted audio file, do not move it. And on the menu down below, there should be an option that says copy. Once you click it, you will get a duplicate audio file to the right of the original audio file. You're going to hold that duplicate file and move it underneath the original audio file. And when you move it, the goal is to be exactly in line with the original audio file. We're going to be layering voice effects to these duplicate files, and we want it as close as possible to the original file. So it sounds like one continuous voice with different effects. I know it's hard to get precise on your phone. You can't exactly zoom in keyframe by keyframe on CapCut. So what you can do is play it back and make sure it sounds like one voice. If there's any disorientation within the two voices, the two audio clips, that means it's not in line. Once your duplicate audio file is in place, make three more copies and rinse and repeat. And your end result should look something like this. Just as evil as you are on the inside. We are going to now add voice effects. Now this is where it starts to get fun and you start to hear the demon voice effect first taking shape. So now I'm going to go through all five files in descending order, okay? So the first file, leave it alone. It's beautiful just as it is. The second file, which I'll be referring to as voice two, we're going to add a high voice effect to it. So how we're going to do that is click on it and then right next to split, you should see a button that says voice effects. And there you have a slew of voice effects to choose from. We're going to be picking high, and once you press it, it's going to give you a preview of what it sounds like. Voice three, apply the deep voice effect. Voice four, low. And voice five, distorted. And if you've done this right, it should sound something like this. Just as evil as you are on the inside. So the next step is to adjust the volume. If you click on an audio file, you'll see the volume button to the left. Click on that button and adjust as follows. I could tell you it, but I feel like it's just so much easier to just pause the video and look at the numbers. And once you've adjusted all your volumes, play it back, make sure everything sounds good, and then we're ready for fade in and fade out. Here are the fade in and fade out settings for all five files. And now, that is it. That's the end of the tutorial. And it didn't free. I'm just messing with you. See you next time.